Well, at 9 o'clock tonight, it's This American Life. Tonight, stories of people trying to rise to the challenge of the coronavirus in some pretty extreme situations. That's our Tuesday evening lineup, folks. It all starts in just a moment at 8 on 93.9 FM. If you're listening on AMA 20, stay tuned for On Point. It'll be mostly cloudy tonight here in our area with a low of about 39 tomorrow, Wednesday, partly sunny. We'll see highs tomorrow in the mid-50s. It'll be mostly clear tomorrow night, low 39. It's going to get pretty windy tomorrow night, gusts up to about 21 miles an hour. By Thursday, mostly sunny, high near 55. This is WNYC. It's 8 p.m. This is WNYC FM, HD, and AM New York. for investigative reporting in PRX. This is Reveal. I'm Al Lenson. Alexandra and her son were worried they came in contact with the coronavirus, so they put themselves in quarantine for 14 days. We just felt like it was a really good idea. We could be good global citizens and not spread anything that we might have to our neighbors and friends. 14 days. It's how long the federal government says to stay yeah. in isolation. But some people actually have a longer incubation time than what the quarantine 14 day limit is. And new research suggests two weeks isn't long enough to keep people from spreading the virus. People could actually escape detection as a carrier and then spread it after they leave quarantine. Today on Reveal, Quarantine Nation. But first, this news. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. The White House is now projecting that between 100,000 and 240,000 people could die from the coronavirus if Americans continue to follow social distancing guidelines. As NPR's Franco Ordonez reports President Trump warns the numbers will be even higher if those guidelines are not followed. President Trump told Americans to brace themselves for a very...